welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be uh, bench testing a giant power brand, uh, lithium 100 amp power 12 volt battery, just to see how long it lasts to run a 45 litre Dometic fridge on freezer setting, which is minus 18, that's the lowest this one can go down to. Now, I don't know if you've checked out the other videos, but we've already done this bench test once and um, the results came back and this battery actually ran it for over three days which is more than surprising i can't believe it actually done it so i just wanted to re redo the test just to make sure before i, I say anything more about the battery because that's the, the results were unbelievable so um i just want to rerun it again and just see see how it performs second time round. so we've uh fully charged this battery and it is resting at 13.37 volts and we took it off charge yesterday so we know that that is the resting voltage it's settled now the only issue we're having is in the uh, the previous video we was able to connect via bluetooth through the app um but for some reason i've tried everything i can and i cannot get it to find this battery when you're searching via Bluetooth. It cannot find it. So I've uninstalled the app, tried different things, even put the battery back on charge to see if um, we can get the BMS to, to go and um, register and basically uh, be able to find it on the, the Bluetooth setting. But for some reason it, it cannot, cannot find it. So we come out of that. So unfortunately, I can't show you the actual um, the app. So we're just going to be using this shunt just to, to see how it performs. So it's 100% charged. We're going to switch it on 19 degrees and we're going to set it to minus 18. It already is. It's just kicked in now, the compressor. That's all kicking in, and the time is 1.29, so 1.30 p.m. on Saturday the 5th of November. So, as we did with the last test in the last video, I'm going to keep open and close the, uh, the lid, so it's in real world conditions. Uh, I do that several times a day, just to make sure that the compressor's cycling as it would in... Uh, normal circumstances and um, yeah we'll see how it goes so I'm going to check in with you uh, in 24 hours time just to let you know how it's going and uh, yeah we'll go from there cheers so it's day two it is Sunday the 6th of November at 5 15 p.m. so that's been nearly 28 hours and as you see minus 17 and the battery, we're pulling 3.2 amps right now because the compressor's kicking in. Uh, and we're down to 12.9 volts, so it's holding steady. And that will creep up to just over 13 once that compressor cuts out in a minute. Um, throughout the, the 28 hours, I've been opening and closing the lid um, just to make that compressor kick in more than it should so it's real world conditions as if you're getting stuff in and out of the the fridge um so yeah so far so good but annoyingly i still cannot connect to it cannot find a device name let me just try again while you're there zero uh, one 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 zero three and press search and it cannot find it. I've been trying constantly all day today to try and connect to the, the Bluetooth, to the, the BMS, and it just will not connect. So uh, I'll, I'll do my best to try and connect to it, but we just have to go uh, off the shunt. And yeah, 12.9 volts, still holding good. Okay, day three. It's 4.34 p.m. on Monday the 7th of November. It's been just over 51 hours. It's minus 16, it's flicking between minus 16 and 17. 
Um, we're doing, we're pulling 3.2 amps because the compressor is running right now, 12.57 volts. So the battery's holding up really well, kind of on par with the, the first test we've done. So yeah, we're just going to keep running it until it actually cuts out. And uh, we'll see. Annoyingly, we still cannot connect to the Bluetooth via Bluetooth to the BMS. I don't know what's going on done absolutely everything we just cannot connect so that's a bit of a shame we did first time round and then it just dropped out and i just cannot reconnect i've looked online and a few other people have had this issue uh with no resolution so yeah be we'll be interesting to see if we can try and figure that out but for the time being we're just going to go via the shunt and uh yeah i will um I won't leave it 24 hours. I will check this first thing in the morning, uh, another 12 hours, which I'm expecting within the next 12 hours, it's gonna cut out. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you posted. Speak soon. Okay, day four. It is Tuesday the 8th of November at 2.59 p.m., three o'clock, um, which is kind of irrelevant uh, because Fridge is off, we completely shut down, no display at all, so the BMS has cut the battery out. Um, this actually cut out at 9 o'clock last night, and we were down to 11.11 .11 volts, 11.11, uh, .11, um, and the fridge just cut out. So... Time-wise, I've worked it out, and we switched it on at just before 1.30 p.m. on Saturday, and it cut out at 9 p.m. last night. So that actually done 55.5 hours runtime. So compared to the first test we done uh, in the previous video, the first test, it actually ran it for 66 hours. And that's why I wanted to redo the test, because I, I just couldn't believe how long that ran from that battery. So that's why I wanted to redo the test, just to see if we can replicate it. And this time round, it's done practically 10 hours less, but still at 55 and a half hours runtime with this set to freezer from 100 amp hour lithium is really impressive. Um, so conclusion is, yep. Yeah, the second test it's not as not as good but still so far the giant batteries uh have been brilliantly uh brilliantly performed so i'm really impressed with that um how long it would do it for over a set a period of time in a year's time how long would it actually run it for all depends on how you use these batteries how how well you you cycle them um you don't want to keep pulling them down to 10 percent um you want to be staying i always like to to keep them within like 60 percent pull them down then charge them back up um as low as 80 percent really but um but dragging them down so there's literally 10 percent left in this battery isn't isn't healthy for them or any kind of battery um so yeah depends how you use them but so far i'm pretty impressed the only downside is we still cannot connect to the bluetooth i know the battery's flat right now but the whole test and even before that i was doing absolutely everything to get it to connect and it just wouldn't connect so that's a bit of a shame that's a letdown um the bluetooth is very hit and go whether it would work or not so that's a downside whether they can improve on that, I don't know. Or if there's a bug in the system that they're trying to, to rectify or it's me doing something stupid, I don't know. Um, but I'll, I'll keep you posted with that. But yeah, so conclusion, pretty impressed. Uh, compared to the DCS batteries, now I've done a test on one of them. Uh, check out that video. That was a 110 amp hour battery. Uh, that ran the fridge, exactly the same test, exactly the same setup for sort of 60 again very impressive but this giant surprisingly done better um but yeah so i leave it up to you guys um for the money i'm really really impressed with how these perform um over a long period i don't know uh only time will tell but yeah i hope this helps anyone that's trying to decide on what to go for and what to expect and uh yeah please like and subscribe if uh 
And if you've got any comments, please leave, positive or negative. All the feedback is welcome uh, to, to improve as I go on. Thank you. Cheers for watching.